Thanks for watching and let's evaluate this integral the cool way. Now I know you could use a gamma function to say gamma n, which is n plus 1 factorial, but this is not how the cool people do it. So in fact, let me show you the swag way of doing it, which is by evaluating a more complicated integral. So let's do the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the n e to the minus ax dx. Because then we'll get our result by setting a equals 1. Now, why do we do this? Because there's a beautiful derivative hidden inside this. Namely, if you calculate the derivative of e to the minus ax, but with respect to a, and use a chain rule, then you get minus x e to the minus ax. Well, if you do it twice, then you get minus x squared e to the minus ax. If you do it n times, then you get minus x to the n e to the minus ax, which is precisely minus 1 to the n times the function in our integral. So in other words, x to the n e to the minus ax is just minus 1 to the n times that nth derivative. So in other words, our integral just becomes a following, and the nice thing is we can just put the derivative outside. I mean, everything converges fast to 0, so this becomes minus 1 to the n, dn over dA to the n, integral from 0 to infinity, e to the minus ax dx. Well, and this integral is not hard to evaluate because an antiderivative is e to the minus ax over minus a, so minus 1 to the n, dn over d to the an, e to the minus ax over minus a, from x from 0, to x to infinity, well, as x goes to infinity, this becomes 0. As x goes to 0, this is 1. So in the end, you just have to differentiate 1 over a n times. So in other words, minus 1 to the n times the nth derivative of this. But if you tried some example, you see that the signs will alternate. So in the end, we get minus 1 to the n and then minus 1 to the n because of the alternating signs, n factorial because of the increasing powers, and a to the minus n to the plus 1. Now minus 1 to the n times minus 1 to the n, that's just 1, so you get n factorial times a to the minus n plus 1. And I want to remind you to evaluate our original integral, you just said a equals 1. And so in the end, you get the result that the integral from 0 to infinity, x to the n, e to the minus x dx, is just n factorial. And this is how we do it. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.